Hey, today we're going to talk about how and why you should share your Ancestry DNA test results with someone else. We're going to jump into that in just a moment, but if this is your first time here, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further, faster, and factually with your family research. Now, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time we upload a video. Don't forget, uh, Genealogy TV has a website at genealogytv.org. And, well, there's a newsletter as well. I'll leave links for all of that in the show notes below. We're going to get into it right now. Okay, welcome back. We're going to jump into it right now as to um, why you're sharing your DNA test results. This is at Ancestry specifically. So the how and the why, how to share those test results and why you should. So it might be that uh, you have been asked to take a test uh, from the family genealogist. Perhaps you are not the family genealogist, but someone else in your family has asked you uh, to take a DNA test and now you have to share those results. So how do you do that? I'm going to explain how you do that here in just a moment. And well, it might be that you want to share those test results with your children or your descendants. Let's face it. We are going to pass away someday. We're not going to live forever. And so somebody uh, really should take over the management of that DNA test uh, for future use. Uh, maybe you want someone else just to manage your test results. Okay. Or maybe you need help understanding the test results. And so you're sharing those test results with somebody else to help you decipher exactly what you're looking at. Uh, perhaps you're collaborating with another genealogist. Maybe you are both sharing, uh, your DNA test results with each other, uh, so that you can further your ancestry. Uh, Also, maybe you've um, been uh, you've hired a professional genealogist such as myself and you need to share those test results with somebody so that they can help you understand it. Um, But please don't share those test results with professionals uh, unless you've actually hired them. Okay, so there's three levels of sharing on Ancestry um, and there are different levels of permissions that you're going to give them. And so the first one is uh, the viewer level, which is the lowest level. There is the collaborator level, and we're going to get into all of the details about each one of these here in just a moment. And then there is the manager level, and that is somebody who has full rights such as you. All right, so here is a um, document from Ancestry that shows all the different Uh, permission levels and I realize that this is probably a little hard for you to see so we're going to zoom in on a couple of these uh, and go through them and we're going to start out first with the viewer permissions and so with the viewer permissions you have the right you're giving the person who you are sharing your DNA results with you are giving them the right to view your DNA matches your cousin matches to view the ethnicity estimates to view the genetic communities, to view notes about the DNA matches. DNA circles is no longer, they need to update their um, their document here, but DNA uh, circles went away about a month ago. Uh, they can view removed DNA matches. And when they are talking about removed DNA matches, I actually had to go look this up because I didn't know what they were talking about. It appears that you can hide DNA matches. Uh, and then reinstate them. So if you're trying to, I don't, I don't know why you would do this because you have the ability to filter out uh, certain groups of people. But uh, the viewer, the person you're giving viewer permission to, has the right to look at those uh, removed DNA matches. And then, of course, they have the right to view the through lines as well. And by the way, if you're not familiar with what through lines is, I've done several episodes on through lines and I will leave links in the show notes and a flag at the, at the top there for you to learn a little bit more about ancestry if you wish. Okay, moving on to the permissions you are giving to a collaborator. So not only do they have all of the things that we've just talked about, but if you're giving somebody collaborator level permissions, they also can see 
uh, this is where I'm at right here, linked test results to family trees. They can edit the DNA matches. They can add and edit DNA match notes. They can edit test participant details. They can change ethnicity display preferences. They can create custom match groups, which may be pretty powerful because we like the groups. <laughs> That's the filtering I was referring to. And they can add matches to custom match groups. Now it just depends on your preferences as to how much um, permission you want to give. So basically when we're getting into the collaborator level, they're no longer just viewing uh, your test results, but they have uh, some ability to edit uh, preferences and such in your uh, account there. All right, moving on to the manager level. And so this is the manager level is basically giving somebody absolute authority to do anything with those DNA test results. And so that includes, let me go on to the next slide because I realize this is hard to see. So what I've done is I've truncated. So they've had all of the viewer permissions, all of the collaborator permissions, and now they have these additional permissions that I have here. They can invite others to access the results. They can assign and change account roles. They can permanently delete the DNA test results. They can download the raw DNA data, which is, by the way, very important for those of us who are working on um, helping solve problems. And if you're helping, if you need somebody to help you solve some problems, downloading the DNA data, you can either do it yourself or you can uh, give this per person manager permission uh, to download the DNA data and send and respond to messages from the test owner's account. So basically that that other person that you're giving permissions to can actually uh, respond to uh, messages on your behalf. Okay, so here is the whole list again. And um, I've also created a document that has this in it. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. But um, this has all of the permissions listed on one convenient page. Again, as a reminder, DNA Circles has gone away and is still on this list. So that is uh, that is the slideshow for a moment. That is the, the why and, the, and a little bit about the details about what you're giving when you're doing that. So now we're going to jump into uh, what exactly or how it is that you're going to uh, do this, how you're going to share them. So we're going to jump over to the website here. Okay, so we're over here on the website, and this is a pretty simple process. What you do is you go to DNA, go to your, your DNA results summary. Okay, so you're going to click on settings. And once you're there, you're going to scroll almost all the way down to the area here where it says DNA, ethnicity, and match matches access. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to click on add a person. And you're going to type in the email address of the person that you want to share with. And you type that in and you also want to click this down arrow and you want to, you want to determine which level of permission you're going to give them. Now, if you've forgotten what that is and you want a refresher on what that is, you can come back up here and click this roll details and it gives you that same uh, document that I was showing you before and so it helps you to remember exactly what permissions you're what your permissions you're giving as a viewer a collaborator or a manager okay and so all you do then is hit send invitation and away it goes okay well it's really that simple uh, so here are my recommendations share your results so that they can be managed after we pass away uh, that's probably something that none of us really think about and quite frankly it's important because uh, somebody should be managing those results after we're gone. Uh, only share those manager rights with someone you trust and that is very important because if you give manager rights that gives them total control over those DNA results uh, including access to your account information. So. 
Once we pass away, only those ma with manager rights uh, can manage the test kit. So, um, for example, if um, if you pass away and you have not set those manager rights, uh, it's going to take a, a lot for Ancestry to hand those over. So it will take your will, you can write it into your will, or a court order for Ancestry to be able to release uh, those uh, rights to the DNA results. Uh, so it, that's if you don't share it as a manager. So if you share it at any other level, co contributor or as a viewer, um, it will take a court order or a or you have written it into your will that a descendant or your children or somebody has the rights to those DNA results. Uh, and you can make this uh, make this assignment in your will. Uh, only give permissions that are, you're comfortable with. So don't don't be giving out manager rights or contributor rights if you're not comfortable with that. Do what's comfortable for you right now uh, and you can always make assignments uh, later uh, or change your permissions later as well. If you're concerned about what will happen uh, with your DNA results, I suggest that you set those permissions now and uh, don't wait. Do it now before you forget. All right, so uh, for more information, uh, I have step-by-step -step instructions that you can find at genealogytv.org, um, and I will put that up on the website over there. And, well, there's links in the show notes to that as well. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time we upload a video. Uh, also, I have on the screen here for you some other uh, videos about DNA. Uh, that you might be interested in. And don't forget that Genealogy TV has a newsletter. You can sign up for that at the links in the show notes below. And well, it's time for you to go find your ancestors and set the permissions on your DNA results. Okay, until next time, keep on climbing your family tree.